This is the assessment I ran the pro basketball player through, kind of nitpicking his issues. Um, I'm gonna go high speed here. So I had him do the vector, go ahead and stepping in and out. Does it look like a tomato or a Super Bowl? And then I had him go the other direction, just kind of assessing how he felt. Then I had him go on the 45s, in and out. How did it feel? It was pretty clean both sides. He felt pretty confident. Then it got interesting. Watch what happens as he comes forward with his foot. See, he toes in. And so I was just right there. He really pronounced that toe in. And I was curious if he'd do the same thing on the right side. He does, I mean, on the left side, does it, but not nearly as significant. So I was just kind of keeping an eye on that. So then we went to flight phase where he jumps out and comes back, out, back, both that felt clean. But watch what happens when he goes to the other side. When he comes, loads, he stays there a little bit longer. It was just, I, I kind of just noticed that he would stay and have a little bit more of a pause when he was on that side. So that was just information in the back of my head. So then I had him go on the 45s, jumping out, coming back, seeing how he felt, returning. And then he still had a little bit more of a lag on the ground, a little more contact time on that left side than he did on the right. Just sort of information I was thinking about in the back of my head. I was curious when he did his in, when he lunged forward, you see that toe in and return. So I kind of was just like, okay, that's something I'm seeing. With basketball, he, he definitely, that's where he tends to jump off his left. Um, and so I was just curious to see your guys' thoughts on this. Um, I didn't see any real significant weaknesses, but it definitely was showing up consistently. This side of toe in, but just not as significant. And then we did the final phase of testing, which is the bound going immediately to vertical, landing on two was pretty clean on both sides. A little bit more of a delay maybe, but not bad. It was really pretty clean. And then we have to do the same thing on the 45s. Take off, land, it was clean. we had to do the other vector up. Oh. It's pretty confident there. Then lastly, we had him go anterior, which is much more normal for him. It was pretty clean. He didn't do as much of a toe in there, which was interesting. And this is his most natural movement which is what he does normally anyway. Jumps on the left, jumps up, lands on both. So anyway, I've got some valuable information. Uh, I did a bunch of mini band work with him, working on some stiffness. He's pretty clean, but I just was curious your guys' thoughts when you saw that, uh, that toe in on the right. And it's not the first time I...